We met halfway on the length of the guarantee. I'm not finished. The kid's pulled in triple doubles in his last four games, not to mention the 15 assists he had against the Grizzlies. Even Fuller's going to bat for him, and you're sitting there pinching pennies. Please have a seat. He'll be with you in just a moment. He's clutch, Pete, and you know it. I gotta go. Yeah. Well, the results of the scan show that there is a large tumor in the upper left lobe of your lung, and adjacent to that, there are some enlarged lymph nodes. This is consistent with a cancerous growth that has already spread. Cancer? Um, according to your CAT scan, it looks like you have lung cancer. There's no tumor. Well, as I said, the CAT scan shows that your lungs are completely clear. But the doctor was so concerned when he ordered the test. Well, the report states that there is nothing organically wrong with you at all, Mr. Mulligan. It's already likely at an advanced stage because the scan shows that the tumor has spread into the regional. Hey, I'm not nodes. following you. Well, right now I need PET scan results to see what type of treatment is. What treatment? What are we what are we saying here? What are you talking about? Surgery. Chemo, radiation. <laughs> I could provide you with a contact number if you'd like to talk to someone. Mr. Mulligan? Yes, I'm still here. Without treatment, you'll be lucky to have six months. Okay. Hey, champ, you should have heard me tie up that McDaniel deal. No more hoi polloi. It was so pure, I could have walked in there, eyes closed, they would have given me the promotion. Speaking of which, I got a nice fat upgrade to the Clips game. Three point favorites. Seats next to Jack. Gold standard, baby. Hey, Mom. Hey, fine. Mom. Is this you? Yeah, it's me. What do you want? I just want to see how you're doing.
excuse me. Sit anywhere you'd like. Just water? You're very kind. Of course. Cut your hair. Been almost a year. Your sister would curse me if she caught me talking to you. How is she? Stubborn as ever. Luckily, she married well. Smart girl. Smarter than her mother. You're not messing with that shit again, are you? I'm not. Where's your famous Helen? The closest thing we have is oatmeal. Spit it out. Doesn't matter. Thought I'd never see it again. Yeah, I was pretty desperate. And stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah. Remember that old couch you wouldn't get rid of? Went with us every time we moved? Yeah. Little sleep every time I sat on it. Gave you half an hour not to worry about me. I'll always worry about you. It's my job. I was backing out of a parking spot and I saw myself in the rear view mirror and I, I didn't like what I saw. So I just kept driving like it never happened. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why don't you come by and I'll make that hanging for you? I should go. You look beautiful. Can I get you anything? I just like to sit here a while. Suit yourself. Today's my lucky day. You know, I'd like to buy you a glass of water. If that's all right with you. Do you live around here? Not too far. Never seen you here before. I prefer to stay out of the way. You can do better than that. I don't know. The big questions vanish. What questions? What's the point of all this? Why do good people have to die? Why does anybody have to die? Suppose I had the answer. Would it make a difference? Because it does make a difference. Knowing the answers. You mean it makes it easier? Easier? No. Not when you're the last one left. I didn't get your name. Too hard to pronounce. What's yours? 
I can't remember. What's your secret? Ah. Uh, you have any family? Yeah. Lucky. Who? Hmm. Hello. This is Dr. Sheldon. Yeah, doctor, I haven't forgotten. We recently had a malfunction in our electronic health record system. There was a patient mix-up in radiology. Your CAT scan was completely normal after all. We apologize for the distress this may have caused. You're saying there's nothing wrong with me? You're going to be okay. <laughs> 